Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Peter Salerno. In today's video, I want to talk about a phenomenon I call traumatic cognitive dissonance, a psychological and neurological state that occurs in victims of prolonged manipulation and coercive control. Whether you've been in a pathologically abusive relationship, raised by a personality disordered parent, or entangled with a pathological partner who manipulated you into questioning your reality, what you experienced was not just emotional pain. It was neurobiological trauma, and it changes how your brain and nervous system function. Cognitive dissonance occurs when we hold two contradictory beliefs at the same time, like they love me and they're hurting me. But when that dissonance occurs in the context of chronic psychological abuse, something more insidious happens. You don't just feel confused, you become frozen, psychologically and physiologically, trapped between two incompatible truths with no safe resolution. This is what I refer to as traumatic cognitive dissonance. TCD is a hallmark of intermittent reinforcement cycles found in manipulative relationships, where affection and cruelty are delivered unpredictably. These cycles dysregulate the brain's reward system and impair decision-making and emotion regulation. When we're stuck in a traumatic double bind, the brain enters a state of neural conflict Regions of the brain which detect contradictions and errors become hyperactive. This results in heightened anxiety, confusion, and a persistent stuck feeling. The brain's alarm system becomes overactivated, creating hypervigilance. But instead of activating a full-blown fight-or-flight response, psychological and even physiological immobilization develops over time, making it nearly impossible to think logically, to set boundaries, and to make decisions. You may intellectually know something's wrong, but the nervous system is trapped in freeze mode, a parasympathetic state dominated by collapse and shame. Traumatic cognitive dissonance can literally reprogram your threat detection system. You begin to fear the very freedom that could liberate you, and instead you find yourself seeking safety in the familiar chaos. Your abuser is both your source of pain and your perceived source of relief. Neurochemically, this is reinforced by dopamine fluctuations, cortisol dysregulation, and even oxytocin release during brief moments of reconciliation, what trauma survivors sometimes call a breadcrumb of affection. This creates a biochemical bond known as a trauma bond. If this sounds familiar, know this. Traumatic cognitive dissonance is not a character flaw. It's a survival adaptation, one that was hijacked by someone skilled at manipulation. Recovery involves more than leaving or cutting contact. It requires rewiring your nervous system, retraining your threat detection radar, and most importantly, learning to believe yourself again. If you'd like to dive deeper into this topic, check out my book, Traumatic Cognitive Dissonance, Healing from an Abusive Relationship with a disordered personality, and view my other videos on my channel related to the types of individuals who inflict this form of abuse. I'm Dr. Peter Salerno, and thank you for watching.